Along with the long-awaited first season of Ahsoka, the second dose of Bad Batch animated adventures, another bold and unexpected season of Visions, and the latest, though somewhat hit-and-miss chapter of The Mandalorian Tale, all arrived on Disney Plus in 2023. But a quick look at what is on the horizon for Lucasfilm over the next year and beyond suggests that the best could still be yet to come in this Disney era of Star Wars stories. So I am Gareth, this is What Culture Star Star Wars, and here is every Star Wars movie and TV show in the works right now. Number 14, The Mandalorian Season 4. Before the third season of The Mandalorian glided onto Disney+, Plus and occasionally hit some Jack Black and Lizzo-shaped turbulence, showrunner Jon Favreau announced that he'd actually already finished writing the show's fourth season. So it felt safe to assume that yet another chunk of Din Djarin and Grogu quests were going to drop on the streaming service not too long after the devices season 3. However, the announcement of another intriguing project set to arrive in movie theatres at some point in the future, we'll get there, don't worry, has now made it a little unclear whether this next season will even become a thing. In the wake of the recent Hollywood strikes, it appears Lucasfilm have decided this fourth season isn't as much of a priority as it once was, and it being made at all is now definitely not a given, according to THR, with much of the focus now reportedly being on number 13, The Mandalorian and Grogu. Though it's uncertain whether or not fans will ever witness another full season of Din Djarin and Grogu shenanigans, a big screen tale centered around the two modern Star Wars stars will very much be jetpacking its way into movie theaters. This is the way. This somewhat unexpected news was announced back in January, with it being noted that the Mandalorian and Grogu Star Wars movie will be directed and produced by the series showrunner Jon Favreau. Kathleen Kennedy and Dave Filoni will also be working on the project as producers, as the film looks set to kick off production later this year. Not much is known about this new big screen chapter in Mando and his apprentice's story. After last season saw the pair eventually settle down on Navarro in a cabin. It was delightful. It's not even clear if Pedro Pascal will be appearing on screen again as the man behind the mask. Collider are reporting that the movie is aiming for a June start date. Disney CEO Bob Iger stated in the latest Disney earnings call that 2026 would most likely be the year of the film's release, and Favreau himself has simply stated how the idea of bringing these characters to a cinema is extremely exciting. And that's about all we know at present. Number 12, Ahsoka Season 2. On top of a cinematic outing for Grogu and Mando, it was also confirmed at the start of the year that another icon found in this New Republic era would be making their return too. Said much-loved figure is none other than Ahsoka Tano, of course, with a second season of her show now being in development on the back of a well-received first full live-action season, featuring the legendary Torgruta and her quest to find Ezra Bridger and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Again, not an awful lot is known about the new season outside of the fact Dave Filoni will be returning as its creator. That last outing concluded spoilers, with Tano very much not wandering around the galaxy far, far away fans have grown to love over the last few decades. So it'll be interesting to see where the story of The Chosen One's Apprentice goes from here. Number 11, Tales of the Jedi Season 2. 2022's Tales of the Jedi animated anthology series is unquestionably one of the Star Wars franchise's greatest hidden gems of the last few years. Focusing on two of easily the most complex and compelling characters in all of the galaxy far, far away, that first season dived into the backstories of both Count Dooku and Ahsoka Tano, showing you how and why the former ultimately fell to the dark side, and what led to the latter becoming the legend she eventually would. Those left wishing Lucasfilm would explore even more of the histories of another few well-known Jedi are in luck too, as a second season of the show is on its way in 2024. Which Force users were the latest collection of episodes put under the spotlight? Dave Filoni hasn't gone as far as to reveal that much yet. But if this follow-up season is even half as thrilling and moving as that last six-episode roller coaster, then folks will no doubt be left feeling satisfied by Filoni's second bite at this particular animated apple. Now I want to know what is your favorite animated Star Wars moment? Was it something from Taylor? of the Jedi or something else? You let me know in the comments section down below. Number 10, Sean Levy's movie. Sean Levy is a busy bloke nowadays, and on top of bringing the MCU's first ever Deadpool and Wolverine flick to theaters this year, and working on the latest season of Stranger Things, the director, producer, writer has also been developing a new Star Wars movie too. It was reported all the way back in 2022 that Levy had been in talks to create his own story set in this galaxy far, far away. And 
though there haven't been any major updates about what said incoming feature could be about, Levy did at least note last October that he'd been told by Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy, I want a Sean Levy movie. I want a story and a tone that reflects you and your taste and what you bring to your movies. With a Star Wars story. The WGA strike last year has affected the development process a touch, but the Levy Star Wars movie appears to still be very much in the works at time of recording. And when asked whether his project could possibly be a prequel focusing on Kylo Ren before the time of Episode 7 The Force Awakens, Ben Solo actor Adam Driver is a pal of Levy's, you see. The director simply responded by saying, your words, not mine. As you know, Adam is a buddy and I've always been a huge fan of Kylo Ren, but no comment. So you're telling us there's a chance. Number 9, Taika Waititi's movie. A long time ago in a galaxy not that far away, it was said that Taika Waititi would be directing and co-writing an incoming Star Wars big screen story. And a whopping four years on from that official announcement, Waititi is still currently developing the idea for his planned Galaxy Far Far Away film, a movie he has jokingly claimed will pee people off, only he didn't use the word pee. According to the Thor Ragnarok and Love and Thunder director via Entertainment Tonight, he is very much still attached to the project, but the whole thing will likely continue to be pushed back until he's got his other four scripts he's currently working on out of the way. The Oscar-winning screenwriter would also stress that he doesn't want to rush his Star Wars picture and wanted to get it right. So while the filmmaker, who was also performed in as IG-11 and directed an episode of The Mandalorian, has been a little slow when it comes to the creating of his first Star Wars movie, according to Kathleen Kennedy via E.T. again, everyone involved is clearly still fully on board this eventual YTT jump to hyperspace. Number 8, Dave Filoni's Cinematic Events Movie A mind who has helped bring everything from the Clone Wars animated series to The Mandalorian to Ahsoka to screens over the last decade plus, the space cowboy known as Dave Filoni will also add his first ever live action Star Wars movie to his ever-growing director CV soon enough. That much was confirmed during the 2023 Star Wars celebration, with Lucasfilm revealing that three new Star Wars movies were in the works, including a Filoni-directed offering that was described as a cinematic event, which will focus on an important part of the escalating war between the Imperial Remnant and the New Republic. Said story will close out the numerous different stories told in the likes of The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and a number of other Disney Plus series, according to StarWars.com. Filoni himself also added last year via Empire, you're looking for those moments that define an era, and that's what the films really should be about, whether it's characters coming together or a defining moment. So while it's still not known exactly when this epic New Republic period movie will drop in theatres, when it does, expect Filoni to do everything in his power to blow folks away, with a moment or two that could go on to define this entire Star Wars era. Thanks for checking out this video today, folks. Hit that subscribe button down below for more what culture in your galaxy. Number 7, James Mangold's movie about the first Jedi. Along with Dave Filoni's New Republic tale, Star Wars Celebration 2023 also brought with it news of James Mangold being given the opportunity to tell a big screen story in this legendary galaxy far, far away. The Logan and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny director's film will be set around the time of the dawn of the Jedi, with Mangold also explaining to Empire how the picture will look at the discovery of the Force and be a kind of Ten Commandments of Star Wars. Set 25,000 years before the time of Episode 4, A New Hope, the director would also add that he wanted to make kind of a Cecil B. DeMille film about the arrival of the Force, and had been pecking away at that idea in between his press event appearances. Exactly how and where the Force was found, who discovered it, and who the first ever Jedi actually was, are all things Mangold is currently thinking about whilst writing the incoming picture. But it remains a mystery exactly when this quote-unquote biblical epic will arrive in cinemas. Number 6, Sharmin Obey Chinoy's Rey New Jedi Order Movie The third new film revealed during that rather jaw-dropping Star Wars Celebration 2023 announcement, it was explained that two-time Academy Award winner and director of a few Miss Marvel episodes, Sharmin Obey Chinoy, would also be bringing a Star Wars movie to screens in the future. And not only that, this feature would also involve the return of Daisy Ridley's Rey. Picking up the story 15 years after the events of the sequel trilogy, Rey will be seen trying her best to rebuild the Jedi Order in Obey Chinoy's film, with Kathleen Kennedy telling IGN last year that the picture will dive into the state of the galaxy, who exactly the Jedi are at this stage, and what they're doing at this point in time. The first ever female Star Wars movie 
movie director also noted to CNN as recently as January that everyone involved were about to create something very special, and would reveal on her Instagram, I've spent my life meeting real-life heroes, who have overcome the most oppressive empires and battled impossible odds, and that to me is the heart of Star Wars. Obey Chinoy's cool as s words story in Daisy Ridley's own words is seemingly set to release in theaters in 2026. Number 5. Skeleton Crew one of the two live-action Star Wars TV shows set to debut in 2024. John Watts and Christopher Ward's skeleton crew will center around four children who end up getting lost in space in the wake of making a mysterious discovery on their seemingly safe home planet. Jude Law will also be appearing in this small screen galaxy far, far away story, though not much is known about his character other than the fact he can wield the Force. Skeleton crew will also be set around the time of the New Republic, with the fun but dangerous adventure story being very much inspired by Amblin-produced tales of the past, and a show that can hopefully be for all ages. And when nudged on his mysterious character, he is someone the children meet on their attempt to get home. He is like a lot of the world that they experience, contradictory, and at times a place of nurture and other times a place of threat, is what Law interestingly had to say on the matter, painting the picture of a galaxy as volatile as his Force user in this series. The long-awaited eight episodes episode season is currently expected to release on Disney Plus at some point this year after wrapping in late January 2023. Number 4. The Acolyte it looks like The Acolyte will now be the next Disney Star Wars TV series to land on their streaming service in the coming months, with this High Republic era story's first trailer being released recently. With the series set around 100 years before Episode 1 The Phantom Menace, arriving on Disney Plus with a two episode premiere on June 4th, the show will focus on a rather disturbing crime spree, with the investigation into it leading to Lee Jung Jae's respected Jedi Master Sol coming up against a dangerous warrior from his past played by Amandla Stenberg. The first look at the series in that trailer shows these High Republic Jedi colliding with dark forces, one of which wields a red lightsaber often used by the Sith. Carrie Ann Moss's Jedi Master Indara effortlessly fending off a foe with the Force, and the Order dealing with a Jedi killer. This will be the first time this particular Star Wars era is explored in live action, and looks set to be a frequently shocking and rather dark dive into the final days of the High Republic. Number 3. and. Andor Season 2 The first season of Andor was easily the most pulsating, powerful, and complex Star Wars tale to go straight to Disney Plus since the House of Mouse purchased Lucasfilm all those years ago. And though fans of Diego Luna's titular Rebel and the rest of the compelling, non-Force-sensitive individuals helping shape this galaxy far, far away in the lead-up to the Star Wars story known as Rogue One, will have to wait a little longer than expected for more Andor in their lives, thanks to the recent writer and actor strikes. The good news is that Season 2 still very much looks set to debut in 2025 at some point. That being said, Stellan Skarsgård, who terrifically brought Luthen Rael to life in that first season, told Games Radar that the show could still drop towards the end of the year potentially, or early next, so fingers crossed, eh? Creator Tony Gilroy has explained how Season 2 will experience four time jumps, with each of these covering around a year and the first taking place between the first season's finale and the start of Season 2. Season 2 will also seemingly explore what happens when a revolution begins to go mainstream, and as Gilroy would explain to Entertainment Weekly, how that move affects the original gangsters and other hardcore individuals who built that road. Sounds like more of the sort of gloriously complex storytelling that made Season 1 such a riveting watch. Number 2. Lando In the three years since Disney officially announced a series focusing on the iconic and rather cheeky smuggler, this Lando Calrissian project has gone from being a TV show set to arrive on Disney Plus, to now being a feature film that will touch down in movie theaters at some point. Dear White People's Justin Simeon was once the person developing this incoming Lando show, but the star who brought the character to life in Solo A Star Wars Story, Donald Glover, and his brother Stephen Glover are now writing the incoming film. Little else is known about this long-awaited project at present, but it is interesting to note that Donald Glover openly admitted to wanting to play the character again last April via GQ with the Atlanta Star also noting, we're talking about it, before jokingly saying, that's as much as I can say without Kathleen Kennedy hunting me down. And in case you're wondering if this new film will see Glover or even the legendary Billy D. Williams return as the smooth-talking Rebel Alliance General, the latter figure hilariously told Radio Times recently, pay me a lot of money and I'll sell my soul. Take that as you will. Number 1. 
on Rogue Squadron. There was a time there when it looked like Patty Jenkins' high-flying Rogue Squadron film had well and truly crashed and burned. After initially signing on to direct this Star Wars story about a new generation of Starfighter pilots, all the way back in 2020, the Wonder Woman director's busy schedule resulted in the project being delayed before it was even taken off of Disney's release schedule in September 2022. For the next year or so, it honestly didn't look like this particular squadron were ever going to take flight in the galaxy far, far away. But in March of this year, Jenkins offered a seriously positive update when talking on the Talking Pictures podcast. After initially thinking she may return to her planned Star Wars film after she'd finished working on her other then incoming project, Wonder Woman 3, that DCEU movie not ultimately going ahead resulted in herself and Lucasfilm finishing a deal just before the strikes. And while nothing is still guaranteed at this point, and Jenkins was quick to note how they need to get the project to where we're both super happy with it, the director did confirm that she does currently owe Lucasfilm a draft of Star Wars. So that is progress. Jenkins, the daughter of a fighter pilot herself, is clearly super passionate about the idea of bringing a fighter pilot movie set in the galaxy far, far away to life, adding that the emotion of Star Wars and what it stands for is something so beautiful in this world. So fingers crossed this long gestating rogue squadron can finally get off the ground in the coming years.